have known David over 50 years. Shortly after we arrived in Fredericton, I think there, it was in 1972, there was a meeting at the Art Center, you know, sort of a gathering of artists and art. And uh, in 1976, when we began the gallery, he shortly afterward became one of our gallery artists. I remember seeing a painting of his up in the mall when I was a kid, uh, well, much younger than I am now, and I remember walking by and, be, and struck and coming back and looking at it and saying, oh my God, that's good, that's just pure maritime, that's beautiful. And uh, I think two years later, uh, my sister introduced him to me because my sister and his wife Nancy were friends and they knew him. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I became attracted to his work immediately, and I liked him immediately. I just thought he was a down-to-earth, wonderful human being, yeah. I just like David's work. It reminds me of my life here in, in, in Fredericton, in and around Fredericton. Uh, growing up, I spent a lot of time in Majorville at my aunt's place. His, his paintings uh, make me feel nostalgic for, for my childhood, basically. I've known David uh, for my whole life. I've been a part of the gallery, you know, coming in as a baby and whatnot. When I was younger, I would go up uh, to David's studio probably to kind of give my mother some peace. And often we would make things together like um, one of my favorite memories was making little parachutes and trying out different prototypes. And up on the second floor over the banister, we would drop the parachute with like a little figurine in it and we would try to time it so that it landed on my sister perfectly. And we would alter our prototypes for the next day too. I loved his uh, autumn paintings. As a matter of fact, I just heard today, today, tonight is a full moon, the harvest moon. And that reminded me of one of David's very dark paintings, but it was luminous at the same time, a uh, painting of the full moon, the harvest moon over the river. I'm looking at my childhood and that I'm looking at my immediate surroundings and I'm looking at things that make me feel good inside. It's a painting and there's a Christmas tree lit up in the, in the background. And I love Christmas. It, it's my favorite day of the year. Uh, growing up, it was the only day of the year that our family business was closed. So Christmas is special and that made it extra special. And uh, you know, I, I just love to see that little yellow light in the background on that tree. And, and, the, and I would say that's you know, right up there with my favorite painting. There's another one, which is an early one that he painted. And uh, it's a scene of the St. John River in the area of uh, Gage, the village of Gagetown. There is not one that I don't like. And I do have a, quite a number of them and I like them all. His paintings are, um, I find very quiet and representing places that are often overlooked, very sort of humble surroundings. And, but by the way he um, sort of puts our attention on them, he gives them agency. They really represent, I think, New Brunswick in a way that no other artist is able to do. When we first started buying David's paintings, it was that sense of home that we were drawn to, that I was drawn to for sure. The style is something now that's very comforting to me and very familiar and, and I love. I love uh, different work that he does with stones as well. Um, not always in his work, sometimes it's, you know, trees and whatnot, as we know, um, which I do also really love. But yeah, the working with stone and seeing how things might be forgotten over time. Yeah, I, I really do love those pieces that he does. I think David McKay was a painter in the womb. I remember him telling me that at four and five years old, he was amazed by pens and pencils and, and paper. And that, you know, that, that showed that he had no choice. He was an artist and he was here to express the world around him. I admire him as an artist and everything that he has accomplished in his very long uh, career. Um, but also just as a human being, he's very, compassionate and generous like all those days you know I would often stop in if I was washing my brushes and talk and he always had time to listen and he always had good advice whether it was about art or life 
yeah, he, he's a very special person. <laughs> One thing about David that I really admire is how thoughtful he is. Um, and I think, and it definitely translates in different ca capacities. Um, obviously, you, anyone can tell that that's the case in his art. He's kind of this all around kind of guy, but I'll tell you what, if he had a scrounge to get paints like Van Gogh, he would scrounge to get paints like Van Gogh. That's what I admire about him. He's a truly heroic uh, artist. They're few and far between. They give their life to their art. And th that is absolutely, you know, fabulous to be able to do that. Apart from his insight and talent, the work ethic is part of his incredible success. His work is in collections of people all over the world. He's represented in many corporate collections and public collections throughout Canada. And he has the admiration of, of the art community here, of artists themselves who, who um, respect and realize what a um, wonderful, reliable, member of the community, art community is. Hi David, congratulations on 50 years of painting. I can't believe anybody's been doing anything that long, especially since I was two years old when you uh, started your, your new career. I congratulate you on it and I'm happy you chose it and our home is a better place because of your paintings and our lives are better because we have your paintings in them. I wish you the best. Congratulations, David. 50 years is a very quite a milestone. Uh, I'm 50, so that means you've been painting as long as I've been alive. So uh, I'm happy that you do, and I hope you continue, and we'll continue to buy them. Congratulations, David. Uh, uh, I've known you for, I think, all of those 50 years. I'm very pleased to know you. I'm very pleased to be your friend. Keep up the good work. And uh, I'm an, uh, I'll continue to be a, I don't have to work at it, I'll continue to be a supporter and an admirer of, admirer of your work because you do, you are a professional and you do good work. Congratulations, you have done incredibly well. You're, you're a remarkable person.